In this video, we will understand about analytic function. First point is what is a function? Before going to the analytic function, what is a function? f of z, where z is the complex variable, z is equal to x plus i y, correct? So f of z, your function should be u plus i v. Now u and v are the variables which contains the x and y terms. So very important point, f of z is equal to u plus i v. From this equation, you are getting the two variables u and v. Now the next point is your function is said to be analytic. You can say your function is analytic if it is differentiable at z is equal to z0 and its neighboring values. So this was the conceptual uh, method but if you want the mechanical method which you use in the examination to solve your problems, you should go for the CR equation. Now what is CR equation? It's Cauchy-Riemann equation. Now the Cauchy-Riemann equation are simple. There are only two parts you have to do. If this two part are satisfied then you can say your function f of z is analytic if it is not satisfied if any of these step that is step one or step two fails then you can say it is not analytic simple if it's satisfied it is analytic if it is not satisfying it is not analytic now let's go for the step what are the steps first step is you are getting u and v from the question because your f of z is given f of z is in the uh, given in the question you are getting u and v your terms you are getting now the next step you have to do is you have to find dou u by dou x and it is known as the partial derivative of u with respect to x that can be written as u x u subscript x this basically means dou u by dou x or daba u by daba x and then you have to find dou v by dou y which means v subscript y so if this two are equal u x is equal to v y your first step is done you can say up till now it's not done you can say that it can be analytic but then you have to check the second step that is dou u by dou y should that that is written as u subscript y i will always use this notation u subscript y u subscript x v subscript y v subscript x because it save time now dou v by dou x you have to check then you what you have to check if your u y is equal to minus v x this means u subscript y is equal to minus v subscript x then you can say after satisfying uh, this two equation you can say your function f of z is analytic so the question number one is f of z is given as this and you have to comment on whether it's analytic or it, it is not analytic so u is given so this part is u this part is v because the function was simple you do not have to perform any operation to get your real and the imaginary part so u and v just you have to compare you will get the answer as u is equal to 2xy and v is equal to x square minus y square what you have to do you have to do dou u by dou x or u subscript x that is i am seeing it as ux so ux value is equal to 2y and u y value is equal to 2x it's simple you know how to do partial differentiation correct i will show you once and u is equal to 2xy what you can do if you are doing dou u by dou x the answer is x is the variable y is the constant so 2y the constants are gone out the derivative of x is 1 so your answer is 2y that is the reason you are getting here as 2y now next part is uh, you are getting the value of v v is equal to x square minus y square find vx that is dou v by dou x the answer is 2x then find dou v by dou y the answer is minus 2y now you have to check what you have to check whether ux is equal to vy and then you have to check whether your uy is equal to minus vx if these two are satisfied then only you can say your f of z is analytic okay but here you can see okay 2y 2y is not it is not equal to minus 2y it's not equal 2y is not equal to minus 2y and that is the reason your step one failed step one failed so the answer is not analytic now we will see the question number two it's interesting f of z is this already you are getting the separated part so it can be written as x by x square plus y square minus plus i times let's say minus y by x square plus y square so now you can say your real part u is this part and v is this part the the value inside the bracket so you got your values of u and v terms now what's next you have to find ux uy vx vy always you have to find this four terms then you have to check for the cauchy riemann so what you are doing first from the question you are getting the values of u and v now the next step is you are doing ux uy vx vy now what's next you are checking the cauchy riemann that is ux should be equal to vy and u uh, y is equal to minus vx if this two are true then you can say that this function f of z is analytic so i hope you got the steps now do the uh, perform the operation i will show you because the derivative here is tough
so your variable u is equal to x by x square plus y square so it, it is in the form of numerator by denominator if you want to find the derivative of numerator by denominator uh, now what you are doing do u by do x so your x is the variable and y is the constant so what you have to do is if you have numerator by denominator the derivative is i am writing the derivative format d into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator upon denominator square so you can see denominator into derivative of numerator so derivative of x is 1 minus numerator into derivative of denominator so derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x it's 2x correct and the denominator square so it is x square plus y square the whole square so if you use this logic for all the terms ux uy vx vy you can find these terms easily all these four terms then you have to do some simplification because here you can see at the first x square plus y square this is our part one and here we have minus two x square so after simplification you will get this term y square minus x square upon x square plus y square the whole square similarly if you are doing it for uh, rest part it is here you will get minus 2xy upon the denominator here you will get plus 2xy upon the denominator here if you do the simplification you will get minus x square plus y square upon x square plus y square the whole square so now your cauchy riemann equation that is ux is equal to vy is satisfied then you are checking whether these two are satisfied by the cauchy riemann equation that is if you have uy it should be equal to minus vx and yes this is also satisfied this means your function f of z it is analytic it is analytic so i hope you are getting the questions so this is the question number three take a special care because now we are doing the level up question f of z is equal to z square here you don't have the real and imaginary part then get it if you don't have you have to perform some operation to get your real and imaginary part so f of z is equal to z cube what you can do z is equal to x plus i y open the brackets a plus b the whole square i hope you know uh, sorry it's whole cube a plus b the whole cube i i hope you know the formula it is a cube plus b cube plus 3 ab into a plus b so if you know the formula it's simple if you don't know the formula it's difficult for you so you can see the equation x cube plus i y the whole cube plus 3 times x into i y into x plus i y open the bracket see i is equal to root of minus 1 i square is equal to minus 1 i cube is equal to minus i i raised to 4 it is what it is plus 1 because it's i square into i square that is minus 1 into minus 1 it's plus 1 so this is how you have to operate if you are dealing with the iota and that is that that's it then you can say your answer is u is this term that is x square, x cube minus 3xy square this is separate this is x into y square so do not get confused and v v is this term 3x square y minus y cube so now you have to do ux uy vx vy i know you can do it because it's simple now after doing that you have to check the cauchy riemann condition that is ux should be equal to vy and it's true you can say ux and vy they are equal and also uy should be equal to minus vx and it's true as well so you can say your function is analytic so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.